This morning, school children, teachers and commuters took to this cycle lane to show their support. After just a few weeks, it will be removed from tomorrow. Please wait. You know, this would be a backward, illogical step to take away the cycle lane that is here helping everyone make the right choice. Well, we're hoping that the council will reflect. The scheme is halfway through a trial period and it's been a great success. Their own data says this. But I think they just don't understand that there are so many of us who do shop by bike. People don't seem to get the concept that cycling is good for shopping. This cycle lane has cost £300,000. The bollards today were adopted by school children. It isn't finished. The council, who couldn't do an interview today, claimed it was bad for business and opposed by many local residents. The problem for cyclists is there are very few safe routes east-west in this part of London and this is a crucial link and TfL data shows that the number of collisions here is higher than the London average. Cycling groups say this is one of the most dangerous roads in the capital. That it just crams all the other cars into, into a narrow lane. Onto the high At this restaurant they're not against cycle lanes but they think this one was rushed and not planned properly by the council. There's only one loading bay to, to, to serve almost half a kilometre of road, which just isn't enough for all the shops, and it certainly isn't enough when none of the shops have got rear loading hatches, like we don't. Uh, you've got other problems, which is that taxis can't pull up in front of shops to allow people, especially the elderly, the disabled. So Plus, it's made your job worse? It's, it's harder, and in time-wise, it was, as in time-wise, it has made me on, 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 on deliveries. This scheme was funded by central government and some in Downing Street aren't happy at its removal. It's not clear if the council will now have to repay the money. But critics say removing it is putting cars above safety. Tom Edwards, BBC London.